Okay. All right. Then. Today I'm setting tiles in a mud set, a mortar bed, not a thin set. There's a difference. Thin set has all those fancy chemical additives that makes it stick. Here we got to do it the hard way. So I've mixed my Portland cement and sand at a ratio of roughly three or four parts sand to one part Portland cement. What I've found as I've been doing this is as it sits, the water rises to the top and all the cement and sand sifts to the bottom sits to the, bo to the bottom. So when you're dish when you're ready to dish out, you gotta stir it up from the bottom to get the water mixed in again. And what you gotta do is wet the concrete surface. This is part of the process of helping it stick since you don't have any since we don't have any adhesives or glues in here. And you take your mortar and you set it on the wet concrete. Then the key to making this work is try to get a nice, consistently level layer of the cement here, of the mortar, underneath so that when you're ready to set your tile, it uh, just sets right in place. Here it helps to have the other tiles so I can see where my level line is, the plane of that I'm trying to set up to receive the tile. Now I've never used a thin set before, but my understanding is with a thin set, when you do this right here and you trowel the line you're actually setting the depth of your thin set. With this mortar bed, you're creating a, 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 an uneven surface so that it adheres and all of it touches. So I'm not going all the way down. I, my, my, my bed is actually a lot deeper than, than my trial markings here. Then I've got just plain dry Portland cement. You sprinkle that on the top, and that combined with the tile that's been soaking overnight helps create the adhesiveness that we want so that the tile will stick and stay where we want it to be. Now we'll get the tile. Okay, as I set this in place, I'm going to try to set it right up against this corner and slide it this way, but I can only already see that my the line over here is, is a little low, so I'm going to have to wait and uh, add a little more mortar on that edge. It's a lot easier to adjust for that if you see it before you push the tile down. Go ahead and sprinkle a little more of the cement there just to make sure it's going to stick. Set it down there and then kind of just push it and slide it away from the other tiles so that you've got room to get your spacers in. Side. That's 
stick it real nicely and pry it up to show a little extra under that corner. Not going to worry too much about the mess on top. We'll sponge that off when the tile's set in place. This whole section, I'll pull the plastic over top because it has to, it's a, what's it called, a wet set. It needs to set for 24 or 48 hours with the cover and keeping it moist. And in this, in our experience, in our situation here, just covering it seems to be adequate because I see condensation on the plastic underneath. In some cases you may need to spray a little, uh, spray bottle a little water underneath to keep it moist. Okay. 